Mom, why'd you marry that phony? What is wrong with you? Oh, I can't believe this. You must be the huh? Hopkins boy. Where'd you come from? We've been expecting you. Welcome to Bullworth Academy. Ah. I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Very happy indeed. Anyway, I can't spend my life waiting around for naughty little boys. I've got a man to make happy. The headmaster is expecting you, Hopkins, in his study. Okay. His study is over there, boy, in the main building. Don't keep Dr. Crabblesnitch waiting. He's a brilliant man. Brilliant. Yes. So, you must be Hopkins. Uh, uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. What? I meant yes, sir. Very good. Now, let me see. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, violent conduct, disrespecting staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, I've never met a boy like you. Never in all my life. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I don't know. Because it's my calling. It's what I do. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you, at making you into respectable members of our community here at the Academy. I've got a good feeling about you, boy, a feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You keep that nose clean, boy or I shall clean it myself. Miss Danvers, are you back yet? Yes, Headmaster, and I got your tea. You are good to me, Miss Danvers. No more than you deserve, Headmaster. Take our new friend Hopkins here and show him around the school and get him properly attired. Certainly, Headmaster. Come along, boy. I haven't got all day. And boy, remember, you will have a clean nose. So keep it clean, or we'll clean it for you. So here I am at probably the worst school in the country, whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. Where's your uniform, young Hopkins? Run along now, child. Looks like your mom forgot to change your...
<laughs> You're dead, new kid! Dead! Hey, you! Break it up! That's enough of that! Break it up! Why are you not in your uniform, young man? Go change immediately! Aw, oh, come on! Hey, you're the new kid. Yeah? What's it to you? Friendly, aren't you? Give me a break, loser. Hey, relax, friend. You're all pent up. Go easy or they put you on medication. They did to me. Boy, nearly sent me insane. That's fascinating. Now if you'll excuse me... I said me. relax, friend. Get off, man. Listen to me, tough guy. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country, and I'm offering to be your friend. Trust me, in a place like this, you're gonna need friends. So it's up to you. You gonna play nice or what? Yeah, sure. Good. So how about I show you around? We don't have a bar in the dorm. It's you want this to get serious? Hey, loser! It's yeah, all you! Cool. You suck! Oh. I didn't want to do this, but you pushed me! Ready to you run. should probably change into your uniform if you don't want to get in trouble. Hey, how you doing? You must be the new kid. I'm Pete. Pete Kowalski. Jimmy Hopkins, and don't ask how I'm doing. I've been here five minutes, and already people want me dead. Even my parents didn't hate me this quickly. Well, welcome to Bullworth. It's a dump. Great. I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent, because I'm really bad. Give up the tough guy act, pal. Hey, man, what's your problem? Well, ADD primarily, but also life. My parents, this school, Western civilization, but really, honestly, enough about me. Oh, I see you've met the dorm's mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Femboy, the girliest boy in school. Petey, haven't you got some imaginary friends to go annoy? Why don't you leave me alone, Gary? <laughs> Look at you. Leave me alone, Gary. I'm really self-important now that I finally hit puberty. What's your problem? I'm just being nice to the new kid as he passes through Bullworth on his inevitable journey to prison. Look, I gotta unpack. Would you guys mind getting out of here? <laughs> oh, now look what you've done, Pete. Jimmy can't stand you already. What do you mean I go both ways? Hey, Jimmy, you know let me you show you around this prison. That's Russell's locker. You know, the big ape who almost put you in the hospital. Vocal cord out! Aw, oh, please. Your money, all of it! I didn't mean anything. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> you don't know what pain is! Next time you get more doofus! Come on! Let's break into it and steal something. That'll teach you. Don't let the prefects see you break any rules. They'll hurt you. Well done! You do know. 
know you're not supposed to be doing that. Let's have some fun with her. Go! See what she wants. Hey there. He took my chocolate! Please get it back. There he is. Show him what you're made of, G. Hey, Eddie. Sure. I'll give you the chocolate if you pay. You're crap. I don't want any trouble, okay? Whoa. Take this stupid chocolate. Why did you do that? <sighs> don't push me. Useless sissy. Thanks! Um, wanna make out? Sheesh! I'll remember this forever! You actually Hi, kissed her! Watch I wanna know something! Feeding time at the zoo. Okay, here's the deal. Over there, we got the nerds. Of course, they're complete social outcasts. They look pretty harmless. They're actually sneaky bastards. Their turf is the library. And those are the preps. They're all money and condescending attitudes. Yeah, massively inbred and completely brainless. Very observant, Jimmy boy. Now over there are the greasers. They think they're tough. Or at least try to look tough. Wouldn't advise messing with them, at least not yet. They hang by the auto shop. And last but not least, the jocks. These guys rule the school. Definitely avoid them. Whatever, I'm not afraid of some dumb roid monkeys. You'll learn. Come on, let's go. You're here to learn, not to goof off. Get to class. I don't like you! I know I'm forgetting to do something today. I wish I could go to school seven days a week. What are you doing? in here. Oh, right. Class. Take care to follow my instructions precisely, as we will be working with volatile chemicals today. Hmm, very good. Carry on. Fascinating, isn't it? Good job. Keep paying attention. Excellent work today, Mr. Hopkins. I'm great! All right! Funny pants!
You seem to be making yourself quite comfortable here, my boy. I'm just trying to fit in. By fighting? By making a nuisance of yourself? That is not the Bullworth way, boy. Yeah, you could have fooled me. What? I said you could have fooled me. This place is full of bullies and maniacs. Nonsense! That's just school spirit. Hijinks. Why, in my day, we felt nothing of castrating the new boys. I want you to stop this nonsense, Hopkins. I want you to behave yourself. You might learn something. Fine. Can I go now, sir? On your way. Hey, I saw you sucking up to Crabble Snitch. What? Shut up! Screw you, new kid. This is what we do to teachers' pets around here. You better not. Ow! <laughs> come here, you little. Yeah, come and get me. You're a whip, new kid. Stopping Jimmy Hopkins. You ever mess with the carnies? Ah, hello, class. The curriculum demands that you do these vocabulary uh, assignments. Why do you finish them here in class? That way you'll have more free time. I'm afraid that's not English. I don't think that's in the dictionary. Try again, James. That's right! Good one!
good show. That has to be some sort of slang, yes? Well done. Keep it up. I'm afraid that's not English. I don't think that's in the dictionary. Try again, James. That has to be some sort of slang, yes? Try again, James. I don't think that's in the dictionary. I'm afraid that's not English. Failure is just a natural consequence of trying. Evil doer! Well, it's no mystery. So that's a good idea, right? Yeah, okay, all right, sure, I'll do it. <gasps> hey man, what's going on? Not much. I was just telling Petey here about my idea to take over the school. I mean, my plan for us to take over the school. What plan? Don't worry, Jimmy. It's just a little something I came up with. It's sink or swim, my friend. And if you're good at swimming, you gotta let the losers drown. Why don't you guys leave the thinking up to me? What? What? What, what the? Can't you say anything else? <laughs> you know what, Petey, you were right. Jimmy is pretty dumb. What'd you say about me? Whoa, nothing, no, no, no. All I said was that you had to be pretty dumb to get expelled from so many schools, that's all. <laughs> Relax, James. All he said was that you must be dumb. Or maybe you're all messed up because you came from a broken home. What'd you say about me, dwarf? Come on, dude, chill. No, 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 no. Gary's taking everything out of context, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't lie, Petey. Don't you lie. Because you know what happens to liars? No, no, I'm not lying. We kick them in the balls! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jimmy, let's go see how good you are with this new slingshot I heard you had. Don't worry, friend. Nothing escapes my notice. I hear everything. You and me, we can do things. I'm a genius. Geniuses don't need medication. You know you look silly like that. I hate that I can't find anything wrong. I'm not you actually okay. Why would Mr. Hendrick call me a Hey, see if you can knock out the windows in that bus. 
I want to see your long range skill. Come on, let's go out to the football field. how it's done. So, you're the new kid, huh? Everyone is talking about you. Oh, are they? And what are they saying? Uh, nothing. Just that you're friends with that sociopath Gary. Socio what? Sociopath. It means... Never mind. Forget I said anything. I need you to help me. Wait. You need me to help you? I've got some library books that need to be returned, but I'm too scared to go to my locker. Do I look like a librarian? No, listen. I need your help. Pretend we're friends. Walk with me. I'll pay. <laughs> I'll pay you two bucks. Two bucks? Are you crazy? Make it five. No. Two bucks? Great. Five bucks. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> My mom calls me Prince Algy. She says I'm really special, li like a prince, you know? Hey, Algernon, I heard you wet your bed again. <laughs> I've 
already wet myself. <laughs> Wanna be friends? Oh, she calls me. Dream! Cover me! I'm going in! Hey! What were there two people hey, in that stall? Trench said they went into the bathroom. Did I get panties on my pants? I never even eat that stuff. No more mess! You guys are making me I'm gonna mess. make you the last stock of the school! Come on, dude! Teach lessons or something. Did I make myself clear? <laughs> 